years, surgeons have been re-injecting blood into patients to help speed up their recovery. They believe it could also help elite athletes who are injured. A process known as blood spinning is already used in the United States. When Pittsburgh Steelers wide receiver Heinz Ward injured his knee two weeks before this year's Super Bowl, many thought his season was over. Check out his right leg. Planted here and now gets twisted around right on that right knee. But 14 days later, he returned to help the Steelers win a record sixth championship. Uh, he looks like he's running fine to me. Ward puts his speedy recovery down to a revolutionary technique known as blood spinning. You can actually inject. Its proper name is platelet-rich plasma therapy, or PRPT. Pioneering surgeon Professor Leonard Funks, an expert on PRPT, he regularly uses it on professional athletes. The process is very straightforward. Um, blood is taken from the patient's arm. That blood will then go into the centrifuge, uh, be spun out so that the platelets are separated from the plasma and from the red blood cells. Um, we know that the platelets have a very high concentration of growth factors and growth factors um, are a very important part of the healing process. The platelet-rich blood is then injected into the affected area where it's believed the growth factors help the tissue repair itself. But the problem facing professional sportsmen and women in the UK is that PRPT is banned by the World Anti-Doping Agency. And while the NFL hasn't accepted the WADA code, UK sport has. Any manipulation of the blood once you've taken it out of the body is prohibited under the, the WADA list. Um, that said, athletes do have the ability to apply to use it if they can demonstrate that there are therapeutic reasons to use that method. What's the key difference between this and blood doping? Well, blood doping is where you're actually increasing your red blood cell count, increasing your endurance. Um, with this, what you're doing is actually preventing or treating injury in specific areas of the body. But unlike blood doping, there's no way of testing for PRPT, and a number of sports scientists believe it shouldn't be banned. What we are doing here is re-injecting the athlete's own blood and you're not actually enhancing their performance. You're taking them back to, the, to baseline, improving their recovery. So there are many medics and some scientists who would suggest it is certainly a technique that WADA should be open to considering. WADA says it's studying PRPT and will discuss the issue at its annual executive committee meeting in September. James Cole, Sky Sports. Yeah, let's just update you on the uh, incident last night at the Emirates Stadium where